Get out. The Carlisle boss kicks Meghan Markle and Prince Harry out over royal title drama. Imagine strolling into one of New York City's most iconic hotels, flashing a smile that has graced magazine covers worldwide, and casually asking for a free stay. Sounds like something out of a comedy sketch, right? Well, for Meghan Markle and Prince Harry, this was no laughing matter. According to recent headlines, the couple allegedly used their royal titles to request a complimentary room at the Carlisle, a move that reportedly didn't sit well with the hotel's management. But how did it come to this? And what does it say about the line between fame, entitlement, and the real cost of celebrity? Let's dive into this fascinating tale of royal missteps and learn a few surprising lessons along the way. The Carlisle Hotel, a royal favorite turned scandal central asterisk asterisk. For decades, the Carlisle Hotel in Manhattan has been synonymous with luxury, discretion, and of course, royal glamour. Known as the Palace of Secrets, this iconic spot has hosted everyone from Princess Diana to Beyonce. It's no surprise, then, that Meghan and Harry might have considered it their go to New York sanctuary. But things didn't go as planned. Reports suggest the duo asked for a complimentary suite, citing their royal titles. This request, however, wasn't met with the red carpet treatment they likely expected. Instead, hotel management allegedly refused and asked them to vacate the premises. Cue the drama. Why would two of the world's most recognizable faces even attempt such a bold move? Was it a simple misunderstanding or an ill-fated attempt to leverage their titles in a post-royal world? Keep reading, this story is just heating up. Fame versus royalty. Where's the line? Asterisk, asterisk. Being famous comes with perks, free clothes, front row seats, and, yes, even the occasional free hotel room. But when does it go too far? For Meghan and Harry, the question of royalty versus celebrity has been a recurring theme since their departure from the royal family in 2020. The royal halo effect asterisk as Duke and Duchess, their titles carry weight. For years, those titles opened doors and ensured deference. But can that same status still be wielded after stepping back from official royal duties? The price of fame asterisk celebrity culture thrives on exclusivity and freebies. But unlike Hollywood stars, Royals are expected to represent tradition and decorum. Did this move blur the lines between the two roles? It's a fascinating balancing act. But was this a calculated risk or a tone-deaf decision? Let's explore their motivations further. Was this a simple misstep or strategic PR? Asterisk, asterisk. Here's where things get tricky. Some critics argue that this incident is just another misstep in the Sussex's complex transition to life outside the royal bubble. Others believe it could be a calculated PR stunt. Possible scenarios asterisk. 1. The misunderstanding asterisk Meghan and Harry might have assumed their status as global icons justified the request. After all, they are accustomed to VIP treatment. 2. The PR strategy asterisk. Could this have been a deliberate move to spark conversation? Controversy often keeps public figures in the limelight, and the couple isn't exactly strangers to headlines. 3. The genuine oversight asterisk perhaps they didn't anticipate the backlash. Even royals turned celebrities are human and prone to mistakes. Regardless of intent, the incident offers a sobering reminder of the challenges celebrities face when navigating public perception. But what does this mean for their brand? What can we learn from the Sussex's hotel faux pas? Asterisk asterisk. This isn't just tabloid fodder. It's a modern cautionary tale. Here are a few key takeaways. Know your audience, asterisk, even global icons need to read the room, literally. Assuming perks based on past titles can backfire spectacularly. Humility wins, asterisk, in a world hungry for authenticity. Humility often resonates more than entitlement. A simple paid stay might have won them more goodwill than this debacle. 